Science Central. Artist Cynthia Amberg wears vivid colors that reflect the joy in her life, but she remembers a time when depression darkened her world. It was a hell worse than anything I could ever adequately describe to someone who hasn't suffered from it. Amber got help from Columbia University psychiatrist Patrick McGrath. She also learned that her family history of depression was a factor. Now McGrath's colleague Bradley Peterson has a clue to why. His team scanned the brains of people with a family history of depression and those without it. They measured the thickness of the brain's outer layer, the cortex seen in this animation. As they reported in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, people with the family history had cortexes that were an average of 28 percent thinner on the right side. It went all, with, all the way from the back of the brain to the front of the brain. It was really very, very prominent. That was the case even though some individuals in this group had never experienced depression. But Peterson further found that those who had experienced depression not only had thinning in the right side, but were more likely to also have thinning in the left side. That seems to tip you over from having a vulnerability into having overt symptoms and illness. Peterson hopes these painless brain dissections will someday help doctors prevent depression in people like Amberg. Sunita Reed, Science Central News.